Welcome. This is your A to Z guide on how to use injective blockchain. Today's focus is on one of the hottest projects in the entire crypto space, and that is injective. We've covered injective many times on the channel, and we spoke about the ins and outs. Also, we spoke about the price and price predictions. It is also worth mentioning that during those videos, the price of injective was around six to seven US dollars. And right now, injective is trading at $17 at the time of creating this video. But today's video focuses on how to use the actual blockchain and how to use dApps that are created on injective protocol. So if you go to the injective.com website, you are greeted with a features dApps tab. You might know some other dApps that are built on Injective, but this would be your go-to place to start with your research on dApps that are coming onto Injective. But before you go ahead and connect to those dApps and start using them, we can have a look at hub.injective.network. This will be your Injective hub where you'll see all the analytics and also it allows you to connect with your decentralized wallet. What's beautiful about Injective is that you don't need any third party wallet other than MetaMask itself. MetaMask allows you to connect directly into Injective. Once you connect your wallet, it gives you the Injective wallet address. So go ahead and click confirm. And now you're able to select from multiple uh, wallets to connect into the Injective blockchain. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using MetaMask. So once our MetaMask is connected, as you can see, we are given a injective wallet address, which is connected to our Ethereum address on MetaMask. This makes me particularly bullish on injective for the future. Why? Well, many people that are in the crypto space do have MetaMask and there isn't a lot of need for any other wallets at this moment in time and people don't really want to download any special wallets because they are already in the metamask ecosystem so injective giving you ability to connect straight away is a huge huge value proposition for me personally and this is one of the reasons why i'm very bullish on injective as you could tell from previous videos as well so now that we have our injective wallet address uh, if we move on to the wallet tab, it can show you the balances on the wallet. So for the purposes of this video, we are going to be transferring some injective tokens from Binance to our injective wallet address. And we're going to be playing around with some dApps. And if you happen to have injective already on your wallet, you can totally skip this step. This part of the guide shows you how to transfer injective from Binance into your injective ecosystem but this would be also pretty similar on other exchanges as well like bybit and others that do have injective support so we are entering our injective wallet address which we were given uh, we're selecting the network of injective because this is what we're using and for the purposes of this video we are going to be transferring um, 100 injective tokens into our injective ecosystem so let's go ahead and click withdraw go ahead and continue and right now we are going to be completing this step with a passkey from binance this is one of the newest security requirements so let's go ahead and confirm and as you can see we have submitted 100 injective tokens into our injective ecosystem so within a few minutes uh, the balances on your hub.injective.network should update. So while we wait for our balance to update and for our funds to transfer over from Binance, let's go ahead and have a look at the different sides of the Injective Hub. On the left side, you have what's called a bridge, and the bridge allows you to transfer funds from different blockchains onto your Injective ecosystem. It is a very easy way for you to transfer funds um, it's very self-explanatory you select which network you want to transfer from and once you're happy with the funds 
uh, go ahead and transfer it will ask you to confirm and you'll go ahead and bridge your tokens in you also have staking and right now staking apr is good um it is comparable to other blockchains it's sitting at around 16 percent at the time of creating this video so if you want to stake uh, you can select a validator and delegate with a quick click select how much um, tokens how many tokens you want to delegate to that validator go ahead and delegate and a metamask window will pop up asking you to sign this transaction so the process of staking is very easy um, all the analytics when it comes to commissions and voting power for these validators is stated uh, what i will do with my injective is i will delegate not my entire bag to one validator i would spread it across let's say three or four validators so once i'll confirm my numbers that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do as you could see the process of staking is very very easy you also have governance governance allows you to take part in voting on the blockchain on the decentralized autonomous organization so proposals would be sent here and you could enter them have a read uh, about what they're trying to achieve and also vote for your particular need so as you can see again the entire process of injective is very easy for even the new people in the crypto space it's very self-explanatory unlike many blockchains which cover you with unnecessary details and unnecessary options so now that our wallet has updated with our injective balance we can go ahead and go back to our homepage, which is injective.com and go to the featured dApps as we said you might have a dApp which is not listed here uh, but the process of connecting is exactly the same so for the purpose of this video we are going to be looking at helix and helix is a decentralized crypto exchange that supports injective once you go into the site you can connect wallet um, and as always very easy process connect your metamask and boom you're in so what helix allows you to do is trade cryptos trade on chain and in a fully decentralized way so you hold your keys at all times this is exactly what we stand for in crypto we are always talking about decentralized solutions so helix is one of those projects that allows you to trade on chain but let's have a look at another dApp to show you how easy it is to connect uh, let's go ahead and enter the talis dApp talis is an nft place uh, an nft marketplace similar to OpenSea, but this is um, a marketplace built on injective again very easy to connect to the wallet we are using metamask which is one of the most common uh, wallets in the crypto space let's go ahead and connect click agree with the terms and now we are connected to the nft marketplace on injective as you can see there are a ton of nfts and i'm sure once injective does well in the crypto space in this bull run i do think things like nfts things like different dApps are going to be popping up on injective so if you want to get ready for that you can do it right now so let me know what you think about the future of injective are you bullish um, from my standpoint i see a lot of support for injective and more and more people building on this blockchain if it does well in the crypto space over the next few months i do believe it's going to be one of the biggest layer one solutions they have a great marketing they have great partners and the price as you can see follows let me know what you think in the comment section below this is it for today and i will see you in the next one